South Korean prosecutors are about to question the country's president, Park Geun-hye, over corruption allegations. Her two former secretaries were questioned on Sunday. It is the first time in South Korean history that a sitting president faced questions from prosecutors. It was revealed last month the president allowed her friend, who doesn't occupy any official post, to manipulate power and meddle in political affairs. The scandal saw her approval rating plummet to just 5%, with tens of thousands rallying for her resignation. South Korea is one of Washington's key partners in the Asia-Pacific, particularly with the Pentagon's plans to base 60% of all of its naval assets in that region by 2020. However, for some time, relations between the countries have been strained. RT Zilia Petrenka has more. Obama was a big fan of the Asia pivot. The United States is and always will be a Pacific nation. That's him in Thailand, the first country he went to after re-election, apparently to prove his Asia-Pacific commitment. Well, there's about to be a new guy in the White House soon. So what's Obama leaving behind in this part of the world, Southeastern Asia? America's got a bunch of allies in the region. South Korea is one of the main ones. Now look at what many Koreans have been up to lately. Now that is a mass protest. It's against this lady. Park Geun-hye, whose reputation is in tatters after a bizarre political scandal with her shadowy female aide, linked to what's being called a shamanistic cult. Park Geun-hye is not only a corrupt government, it's an ultra-right government. It's seen in Korea as an extension of American power. In fact, it's a puppet of the United States. Now her approval rating is about 5%. I don't see how she survives. Accusations of corruption, allowing a dodgy friend to meddle in state affairs. The position Park Geun-hye finds herself in really casts a shadow on the decisions she made as president. Now, of course, no one really expected Washington and Seoul to suddenly make friends with Pyongyang. But there were expectations that the U.S. and South Korean administrations would do their bit to ease nuclear tensions on the peninsula. Instead, as a matter of policy, all dialogue with North Korea was scrapped. Another handshake with Barack Obama in Seoul agrees to the deployment of big boys like this in South Korea. This is one of America's most advanced missile defense systems. The U.S. has been aggressively stationing missile defense systems all around Asia and in Eastern Europe, basically to encircle China and Russia. We know that this system will not be effective in the defense of South Korea. Rather, it will be used for the defense of U.S. military assets in the region. What about other regional allies? You probably recognize this man's face if you've turned on the TV in the last couple of months. The new president of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte. Listening to the stuff he's been saying about the American president lately was as shocking as seeing these images from anti-American protests in his country. I announce my separation from the United States. These last words were said in Beijing. It's in the Chinese capital also that we saw the Malaysian president two weeks ago as his friendship with the U.S. government soured. And so really analysts have begun counting how many allies are turning their back on Washington. This idea that that uh, people are turning away from the United States and turning to China, I think, is just not borne out by the facts. It's completely borne out by the facts. Name them. Well, the Philippines, for okay, one. Okay, there's one. <laughs> 
Well, then you just said that it wasn't true. Thailand, Malaysia, as we've just seen. Okay, so we have two or three, four, whatever. There's a lot of nations in the Asia Pacific region. There's My point is that you're this idea that there's some sort Asia. of. I think the Asia pivot is in shambles. It really upsets the apple cart for the United States. Asia is the most dynamic place in the world. So the Asia pivot was supposed to get the United States back in the game. The policy has failed because people of the region say, hey, we don't want to be part of that kind of Asia pivot. Mutual respect, yes. Equality, yes. But we we don't want to be against China. So how would you rate Barack Obama's Asia pivot? My call, it's not something he's going to stick on his list of successes.